Today I'm with uh, Dr. Nozil from Prague, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the clinical trial that he performed. Welcome to the show. Okay, welcome. Thank you for your invitation. Can you tell us about the late-breaking clinical trial that you presented? Okay, so uh, this uh, the first in man trial tested acutely the new novel S uh, subcutaneous ICD, which is based on uh, strength and unique uh, integrity of the leads. So actually the uh, shocking coils which you place on the mid sternum and the lateral position is connected as an integral body with a uh, with string which contained all the batteries, capacitors and uh, communication system. So uh, this uh, study was based on 22 patients we did in single center study. The single center means Prague Homolka Hospital and we did this patient in four months and actually the target was uh, DFTs. So we okay. tested DFTs as a main target of uh, this uh, feasibility trial. Uh, the algorithm how we tested is that we induced VF by placing the temporal lead in the right ventricle and when we induce VF then we start the first shocking energy was dedicated 50 joules. So when we succeed with 50 joules, we wait like we waited like 10 minutes. Now after 10 minutes, we use 30 joules. When we succeed with 30 joules, we wait again, again now 10 minutes. And after next 10 minutes, we use 20 joules and we finish. So let me ask you a question: How do you think this trial is going to impact the practice of electrophysiology? Actually, it's a very important uh, aspect of uh, the all the process because we know that <clears throat> the traditional transvenous uh, ICDs they got a lot of troubleshooting infections. So it was logical 2009 get first um, secundary system CE mark and then later FDA approval. And actually, this is really like a little bit bulky system with traditional heavy can, uh, you put an axial position and then you need to have like uh, one call on the sternum. So this system uh, is uh, very feasible in terms of cosmetic effect. And uh, the second point is for the future, if this study is saying we can implant chronically in the patients, this system will be rechargeable, it will last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you look at the SICD population from a fortless study, which is really like a registry uh, testing and water analyzing uh, <clears throat> the SICD's experience, uh, we have different population, patient population for SICD than for traditional uh, transvenous patients. We know this is just fantastic research. We appreciate you presenting it here at HRS and thank you for being on the show today. Thank you very much.